Glenn Todd, I'm the Warehouse Logistics Manager here at Orcon Steel Salisbury. Been with the business 15 years now and seen the highs and lows points of our safety journey across this time. For me personally though, I chose my own safety path after witnessing a workplace accident involving a truck driver. That day changed the way I approach safety and, and what drives me to help change others. Safety leadership is the most important role and great responsibility in keeping our people safe and sending them home as they came to work. The key areas of importance as a safety leader for myself are first and foremost is constantly building and refining a strong safety culture that our people want to feel, want to and feel a part of. I try and link this back to the why of operating safely at work, which is the brothers keep the mindset when I'm watching out for their workmates and their own personal safety link to keep themselves safe, which is the what and who is waiting for them back at home. Secondly is the ongoing development of my people to turn them into effective safety leaders as well. By daily coaching, mentoring, storytelling and using mistakes as opportunities to improve is building their own toolkits in order to strengthen their culture further and pollinate this across their own teams. The main focus areas with safety and injury prevention with the high risk functions in the logistics and warehouse are obviously chain responsibility and compliance. We have a very strong focus on chain responsibility and our compliance standards, not only for our people but also our contractors and the wider communities that our trucks move around in. Speed fatigue management to reduce delays and on site for our drivers is also critical, as well as load strain practices with risk based load strain auditing and the use of high pre tension or ratchets to reduce the manual handling risk for our drivers. We take the ownership in the chain very seriously and treat our drivers as one of our own when it comes to keeping them safe also on site. At the end of the day, they perform on such a critical role and these are the same communities our families and loved ones move around in. By focusing on our people's behavioural and cognitive motivators and increasing their awareness and focus on critical risk, we conduct a shift refocus session at the commencement of every shift. First of all, the guys do a fitness for work assessment to understand how they are feeling in terms of physical and mental. The next part's a bow tie exercise to discuss a mock event that could happen and what potential causes were a result of this and what controls are in place for fail. This is linked back to their personal Big Five or PB5 to remind them of the reasons for making safe choices. They each get individual focus areas they choose to engage them further. From there they do a brief discussion on the Bradley culture curve and where they see themselves sitting and where they want to be. Uh, and it's finished off with some stretches to target the high frequency injury areas. But what drives me to make a difference in safety is the fact that no one should ever come to work and be killed at any stage and it should never happen on our watch and we've let people down if that's the case. Um, I see a massive opportunity uh, to change paths and mindsets for people to make a difference around safety rather than safety changing lives forever. Uh, the pre-incident is our window of opportunity to make a difference and sometimes we don't know how big that window is before the incident happens and it's there where I try and do most of my work to try and keep my people safe.